Okay, mobile on its way for the um, final trial of the night. In darkening conditions, big cloud just starting to come over the top. Four horses engaged, number one, Norfolk Island. Uh, Luke Watson for Jeff Lucas, number two, three strikes, Mac Jake Perridge, number three, Harry McGinnis for Cassie O'Brien, number four, Artistic Naughty, Skip Risley for Eddie Sparks. Okay, yeah, it's, on, it's on the inside, so don't worry about it. Okay. At uh, dispatch point, arms rolled in, light goes on, and they've broken in a pretty even line. But Norfolk Island, the youngster, it's coming out nicely, but outside as well. Artistic but naughty, looks like it's going to cross, go across the front of the field, and not going to get there. Norfolk Island holds up the pole, up the first position there. Artistic but naughty, looking to restrain, I think they're going to be caught, but mm, Skip's going to try to get in behind Norfolk Island, and does so. Caught wide now, we've got Rocking Roxton as three strike max, three back along the pegs. So coming down with a couple of laps to go, Norfolk Island leads Rocking Roxton. Third on the fence, Artistic and Naughty, three strikes back at the play on the field. Now past the stable enclosure, and everything's still the same out the front of Norfolk Island. Nice place to visit, good spot to leave. Into the back there, leads about a metre to Rocking Roxton, who's uh, really on the, uh, not Rocking Roxton, Harry McGuinness is on the chewy there, sorry about that. Third, we've got an artistic but naughty, and three strikes back at the tail of the field. Um, Cassie decides that horse needs to go a little bit quicker and goes to the lead. So Harry McGuinness now takes the lead and immediately starts to get on the chewy again. Norfolk Island, six metres away in second. Artistic but naughty in third and three metres at the back of the field, three strikes Mac. They're off the San Matteo bend and they'll come into the straight and they'll get the table at San Bell for the final time tonight. Harry McGuinness at about 10 metres to Norfolk Island. In third, Artistic but naughty and three strikes back at the tail of the field. They reach the bell, rings out, and Harry McGuinness, six metres to Norfolk Island. Three metres to Artistic and Norton, another three to Street, three strikes back. Pass the stable and close to the final time, and Harry McGuinness, four or five metres to Norfolk Island, who's closing the gap quickly. Artistic and Norton in third, three strikes back, the tail of the field. Down past to the 500, and Harry McGuinness showing signs of uh, putting up a white flag as Norfolk Island surges past at the 400. She's been capable of uh, putting a pretty quick quarter in and she just goes a little bit sketchy there but uh, settles again. So we've got Harry McGuinness still in front on the outside down Norfolk Island. Harry McGuinness has kicked back again. Thought he was gone for 200 to go. And third we've got coming off the fence Artistic McNaughty and three strikes Mac pushes through there as well. But Norfolk Island goes to the lead. Three strikes Mac on the outside. Oh, I test it with Naughty down the outside. We're coming down to the line. Uh, on the outside, three strikes back. We'll go down and win the trial by a metre to Norfolk Island. Seven metres in third, we have artistically Naughty and Harry McGuinness at the tail of the field, beating about four or five metres.